Hello anyone that has clicked on this video, today is a very important day because today is the day that a lot of things are going to be changing on this channel. It has been almost an entire year since I last posted anything here besides a shit post a few months ago, and I have had a lot of time to myself and a lot of time to think about how I would want to continue on YouTube when I would eventually come back to make more videos. So without further ado, let's get into what this video is about, shall we? Number one, a quick recap on all of what has happened in the past year. Number two, a short autobiography about how my life started. Number three, the history of how I originally started making YouTube videos. And number four, my plans for the future of this channel. Now that last one is very important. I think it'll be a great place to wrap up this video with, you know, save the best and most important for last and all that. So let's get started with number one. Before I stopped posting videos last February, I was wanting to produce more content, but I kept growing more and more dissatisfied as time progressed. I was constantly unsure of what to do, where to go next, I didn't really see a way for me to continue with anything that I enjoyed making at the time And I honestly just wanted to take a break from worrying about everything and after a couple of months of not uploading videos I decided that I would just continue to not upload anything I have said in the past time and time again after a long break that I was going to change how I do things And I have but none of it is really all that impactful and it doesn't change anything to the point of where it makes me happy And that's all this should be. I'm not getting paid for this currently. This is a hobby this should be me posting videos because I want to, because I enjoy it. And I do enjoy it. It's fun. It's draining sometimes, but it's fun. And I like shit posting, but when it's to the point where 90% of my videos are two minute shit posts, I absolutely cannot feel satisfied with that. Also, a big fucking awful side note, my friend died back in April. Yeah, that fucking sucked. I wasn't really talking to him all that often at the end, but fuck. Someone I knew for almost three years and that I really enjoyed so much time with. So I definitely say that also delayed any potential feelings I had of wanting to come back and make more videos remain dormant too. What I've been focusing on the most besides thinking of ideas for what to do when I come back to YouTube and spending time with my girlfriend definitely has to be my Discord server. I've been focusing a bit less time on it currently just because of planning that I've been putting into YouTube and just taking personal time to relax and reassess every now and then. But I really have been enjoying making improvements to it and watching it grow and turn into something more of a community. It definitely didn't used to be anything like what it is now. So after all that, it brings us to now, which when I'm recording this video, it is currently mid-January. I have been trying to make this video for a few months now, but it's been delayed a few times because of additional planning that I've been needing to put into YouTube. But here I am, finally recording this. This next part is for any of you that want to know more about me. You can consider this an exclusive of this video because I probably won't be talking about this much in the future. I was born July 20th, 2004 in a town sandwiched between Dallas and Fort Worth called Arlington, Texas. The first four years in my life were spent in a house with my mom and dad still together. That didn't last long due to issues concerning money and constantly yelling and fighting all the time. So my parents both agreed that they should get a divorce. That started when I was towards the end of age four and finished when I was five because anything legal has to be a extremely tiring and lengthy process. Then they sold that house because why would they want to keep a house when they had just gotten divorced? That was right around the time of the Great Recession, so yeah, not very ideal from a financial standpoint. Anyways, for the next few years of my life, I lived with my mom in an apartment. We then moved to another apartment for a few years, and then another, and then finally we moved to San Antonio, Texas a month before I turned 10. It was to be closer to family since there became less and less of a reason for us to live in Arlington. Since my dad moved back to Oklahoma to stay with his parents to save money, and I was near the end of elementary school and I just really didn't like the school I had been going to. I didn't really have any friends, although I did have a couple of bullies here and there, and I never really socialized with anyone, it was just the school that I had been going to since I was in kindergarten. Anyways, once I moved to San Antonio, I finished up my last year of elementary school, and then the bad years showed up. Middle school was awful and high school was just more of the same, and at one point I was begging my mom to let me stay home each morning before school. It's not really stuff that I want to get into too much, but I will say it was pretty bad. I stopped going to a public school my first year of my sophomore year of high school. I then didn't do any school stuff for about three to six months afterwards. I eventually started being pressured very insistently to do school online. It wasn't as bad as public school because I didn't have to go in person to a place I hated, but I still didn't like it. I started a different online school and it became more tolerable. I started slacking off a lot for a while, but then I eventually started doing more and more of it after about a year or two of doing barely any of it. And fast forward to now and I just finished high school about three months ago. For a long time, I honestly didn't think I was going to, but I guess I did. It really wouldn't have been possible if I wasn't extensively helped by my girlfriend, so I would definitely like to thank her for that. Damn, I just realized they didn't really say a single damn good thing about my childhood. I, I promise I'm not as depressed as I make it sound. I mean, like, I mean, I didn't, I wouldn't say I had that great of a childhood, but like, fuck, I, I wasn't that bad, you know? <laughs> um, well, uh, I don't know, some good moments, you know, but damn. 
So anyways, that kind of concludes the entire start of my life. All right, now on to how I started making YouTube videos. And this is something I've touched on before, but I know it's never really been all too in depth. When I was eight, this would have been around 2013, I grew up watching the likes of people that are big names on YouTube even still to today. I, of course, for a long time didn't realize that it's extremely difficult to even try to start doing something like that yourself. I went through that whole Minecraft phase, I'm sure anyone that was watching YouTube around that time was. It was a big thing then, and it's honestly really weird to have seen it make a massive resurgence in the past few years. Anyways, quite a lot of time passed, and it was something just in the back of my mind for a few years. Then when middle school came around, it started to become more of a goal for me then to at least give it a try. So I did. When I was 13, my last year of middle school, I started shooting YouTube videos in the stupidest way possible. On an iPad in my dim room in a crappy apartment with terrible lighting with the idea of showing things I just had laying around in my room. And I had peach fuzz. 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 Yeah, how'd you like that weird demonstration of how many times I'm repeating the same thing over and over to get the right take? <laughs> Also, because the lighting was really dim, I would take a few lamps and take off their lampshades and arrange them all around me. So it got really hot with my anxiety and the fact that all of this light was shining directly in my face. And my room didn't have a shitload of airflow. And the fact that this is Texas. Sweating profusely aside, I was of course wanting to edit these videos I was making. So I used the same password my mom used for everything to log into her Adobe account to use for work. And I just started trying to teach myself how to use Photoshop in Premiere Pro. One for thumbnails and the other for editing. And that took a long while to figure out, but I had plenty of time. I was just unfocused as hell. I got pretty decent at it after a while though. I'm not a professional nowadays, but I'm not too bad either. Anyways, I had a real hard time with ADHD back then, and I do even still now, but I've gotten a lot better with focusing over time. And believe me, I've definitely gone to record a lot of videos and then get fidgety in my chair, take a break, and then never come back to it. It sucks, it would just constantly be in the back of my head and I would just keep pushing it off to the side. And eventually enough time would have passed and I just wouldn't be interested in going back to it anymore. And I would just lose that initial drive to continue and finally just end up scrapping it. As time went on, as you would expect during teenage years, I've had quite a few rough things going on in the past few years. Lots of things that have either deterred me or outright made me think that I should stop. But as long as I have this thought in my head that I want to do this, I won't stop. I have said plenty of times in the past that I am going to be posting more videos and blah blah blah. Then something happens in my personal life that makes me not want to anymore. I have had a lot of time to reflect over this past year and I am absolutely certain when I say this. No matter what happens from here going forward, as long as I am able to, I will not stop. So in order to show that I mean what I am saying, I am going to be releasing three videos every week from here on out. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And unlike in the past, I am going to do what any smart and sensible person who decides they want to make YouTube videos does. I will be planning out videos ahead of time just in case I am not able to complete a video by a specific day that I need to. In saying all this, I realize that I could be potentially forcing myself to make videos at a time where I am reluctant to do so again. But I can promise you that I am still aware and I will still make sure to post these videos on these days that I said I would just now. This is a promise and I will not break that promise without saying that I am going to take a break beforehand. And I will try my damn hardest to not have to stop. By the time this video has been posted, I will have between 5 and 10 pre-recorded videos. That will be my bare minimum going forward. Around 2-3 to three weeks of time ahead of me just in case I decide that I'm not going to be able to make videos for a few days for any reason. In the past, I have been very unfocused on what I want to do here. Although I love video games, and I do really enjoy playing them, and I certainly know the appeal of Let's Plays extremely well, that is not going to be my primary focus, likely not even a secondary focus. I'm sure I will make videos about playing games in the future, but that is not what this channel will be primarily about. It is an extremely saturated type of video on this platform, I think we can all agree on that. I personally do not see myself wanting to be in a place where my sole focus is to be louder and try to seem the slightest bit more different than someone else who is doing the same fucking thing as me, all while failing miserably. I'm certain that if I were to continue for long enough, there is a time where a similar thing would happen to me. But what happens after is what matters most. Do you feed into that mentality or do you go against it? Well, I choose to go against it before I even begin. For now though, I want to do something I can be passionate about and not have to change everything about myself to satisfy. That just isn't me. Certain types of videos will be posted on the three days a week that I have chosen. On Super Cool Mondays, I will be posting videos that are pleasant, delightful, pleasing to the senses, or just about something that is really cool or fascinating. On Just Talking Wednesdays, I will be posting videos centered around just having a thoughtful discussion about video games, movies, science, literature, history, stupid as hell social media shit, anything, you name it. If you see a video from me that I was talking a lot in, it was posted on a Wednesday. And at the end of the week on Shitpost Fridays, you will receive one memified, highly edited shitpost, which 
may be a glorious masterpiece or the opposite of one. Kind of a roll of the dice. And the next week, it all starts over again. And that's what this channel will be from here on out. Your perfect nutritional balance of heaven, lectures, and vomit. Thank you for joining me today while I chatted about stuff that I have no idea if any of you care about. To conclude this video, I'm going to tell you that any videos that I have posted up until this point are still up only as an archive of my past. There are a few enjoyable videos I have made previously, but for the most part, it isn't one I want to continue creating or stuff that I am proud of. I hope I can be successful in creating that going forward. You'll also probably find some cringy stuff or stuff of me saying some questionable things. Let me be clear though, if anyone tries to nitpick over any past videos of mine over things that I have said, well fuck you. Alrighty, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to show me your appreciation by liking and subscribing. Until next time, have a great rest of your day.